SCP-912 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-912 is to be kept at Research Unit in a standard containment cell. The cell door must have a damage-resistant rating of 3A or above. Direct physical handling of SCP-912 causes a potentially dangerous reaction and should be avoided except as part of an authorized testing protocol. All researchers involved in SCP-912 must receive briefing SCP-912-002A, Safe Handling of SCP-912, and SCP-912-002B, Dealing with Arrest Behavior by SCP-912. In the event of arrest by SCP-912, researchers are to offer minimal resistance and await rescue by an associate wearing the uniform of the APD. <coughs> Experiments that involve the use of firearms or the CQ firing range require authorization from Dr. <coughs> at least 24 hours in advance in order to permit route clearance and schedule deconfliction. Description SCP-912 consists of several items of police-issue body armor, clothing, and equipment that together form a discrete entity capable of independent movement and action. Both the method by which this ability has been acquired and means by which it is achieved have yet to be identified. The elements that comprise SCP-912 conform to the standards of uniform worn by the APD <coughs> SWAT as of the approximate date of acquisition. Uniform elements float in mid-air as though worn by a man or woman around 185 centimeters in height, but no such presence can be detected. SCP-912 does not directly respond to communication attempts, but will follow simple orders in English given by personnel wearing the uniform of an officer of the APD. <coughs> SCP-912 consists of the following. One dark gray PD ballistic helmet with transparent face protecting visor. One black Nomex tactical balaclava from unknown manufacturer. One set navy blue PD tactical body armor from Armor Limited Company. SWAT insignia printed upon the front and back. Includes several ammo, grenade, or storage pouches, all apparently empty, though SCP-912 resists inspection. One pouch contains plastica for restraints. Supply seems to remain constant regardless of arrests made. One pair of black knee pads from <coughs> Armor Limited Company. One pair of black elbow pads from <coughs> Armor Limited Company. One pair of <coughs> steel toe capped combat boots from unknown manufacturer. One pair of black combat gloves by <coughs> Armor Limited Company. Closed and fastened pistol holster suitable for a mid sized sidearm from unknown manufacturer. One 53cm telescopic steel baton. Handle is apparently made from hardened plastic with a textured grip. In its default state, SCP-912 has been assessed to possess no hazard to health, security, or risk of escape when handled in accordance with SCP-912-002A and SCP-912-002B. If given the command, arrest subject, by a person wearing the uniform of the APD, <coughs> or in the event that SCP-912 detects an armed individual or individuals within its visual radius, it will commence arrest behavior. SCP-912 will attempt to disarm and restrain the subject upon the ground, then secure their arms behind their back using a pair of plastic cuffs. The force used in the process of this arrest greatly exceeds PD SWAT guidelines and statutory procedures. SCP-912 frequently inflicts injury to the neck, 
shoulders, and arms of the arrested individual due to apparent unawareness or indifference to the mechanical limitations of human anatomy. Resistance on the behalf of the individual being arrested causes a corresponding increase in force until cessation. SCP-912 will attack should it detect threatening or hostile behavior towards itself or an individual wearing the uniform of the PD. SCP-912 deploys its telescopic steel baton and approaches the nearest armed subject at an average speed of 5 km per hour. If the armed subject drops the weapon and ceases threatening behavior before SCP-912 moves into combat range, the normal arrest procedure will be initiated. If the subject initiates hostile action or is still holding the weapon when SCP-912 enters combat range, SCP-912 will strike powerful blows at the head and upper arms of the subject for up to a minute after the subject loses consciousness. Once all armed subjects are subdued, arrest behavior proceeds as normal. SCP-912 considers the following to be weapons and will initiate attack behavior upon sight. Firearms Bladed weapons including kitchen knives longer than 10 centimeters in length. Batons, clubs, and similar blunt instruments. Tasers and pepper spray. Data redacted. And joy buzzers. SCP-912 will initiate attack behavior when the following are used in a threatening manner. Power and hand tools. Knotted rope. Lengths of chain. Brass knuckles. Sports equipment, such as a baseball bat or golf club. And a clipboard. SCP-912 only permits an individual it has arrested to be removed from its presence by a person wearing the uniform of the PD. An individual wearing the appropriate uniform is not detained by SCP-912 regardless of armament, except where physical aggression is shown towards another subject wearing a PD uniform. SCP-912 does not react to hostile actions by PD uniformed personnel towards non-uniformed victims, and does not react to hostile actions between unarmed individuals not wearing a PD uniform regardless of injuries sustained.